Hey y'all, how's it going guys? This is Woods and in today's video we are going to discuss about the newest addition in BDM, cooking. I'm gonna separate cooking in two videos, one is gonna be the beginner's guide which is basically what we are going to discuss today and one a more of advanced guide which is be more focused on delivery and which recipes to focus. But for this I need more time so let's stick and begin with the basics. Cooking has been divided in three categories. Ingredients, which is uh, basically your base materials. With all those materials, you can craft the dishes. Dishes are basically used for most, most likely field HP regeneration. And you can deliver those recipes to an NPC for more weekly rewards. But we're going to discuss about those things in the future. And third category is some recipes that you can basically craft uh, food for your horse or uh, reset for your quantum jump. But I don't feel it's such of a necessary thing uh, to do right now and I feel it's also uh, not worth at all. Setting up uh, your the beginning of your uh, farm William Empire, it's pretty easy. And if you understand the content, it's more or less maybe two to five minutes per day and that's it basically there are only three things that you should pay attention to and this is why i said setup because you set up those things and you don't have to bother so much at least uh with those things again those are the seeds the workers and the runs first things first you have to find a sweet npc that sells seeds every town has it with a seed icon and you're gonna notice at the bottom, besides uh, the seeds that we already had, the new improved seeds. They are 12 in total, but you're only gonna need 5. Yeah, I know it's weird, because you might think that the workers that can grow, let's say, those seeds are 8. But if you notice the materials, uh, actually not the materials, the dishes that you can craft, the yellow materials that it's gonna uh, pop up, very fast. Um, for me it was like day one and I didn't even try so much. Uh, and your main goal actually is to focus as much as you can yellow recipes. Because besides the HP regeneration is more. If you can select 10,000 HP, 8,000 HP. Also the points that uh, you will get from delivering those recipes to the, NPC, to the new NPC are way more. But we're going to discuss about delivering in the next video. The five ingredients that you're gonna need is sweet, onion, mushroom, lettuce, and hot pepper. Especially uh, if you are planning to push only for yellow recipes. Which I think this is what you should be doing. Since I explained the reasons, more regeneration and more uh, delivery points. Now I don't know if my numbers are correct. But I'm still experimenting since the content is new. Now let's discuss about uh, workers a little. That is kind of not such of a big deal, because with every convenient the game has, uh, talking about outfits, uh, combat plus or whatever, you can get that will speed the process. The max that you can get is almost 12 hours. Those 12 hours are pretty much enough, and I mean, anyway, I'm not, uh, I don't think that people will focus so hard on this content, so even if it was like 15 hours or 20 hours, I think one time per day to get to your camp, collect uh, your planted seeds is more than enough. And if you notice, the max vitality workers, this is not the original time, it's 12 hours. Uh, the, my last two were not uh, on max vitality and still it's like 11 to 12 hours. So I don't think to focus on vitality work is so important. Okay, last but not least, we have the runs. Uh, for setup, set up the runs, you have to go to the NPC with the cow icon. Uh, basically, it's this NPC right here. Uh, also in every town. And you, you will see three recipes, uh, chicken, sheep and guan guanaco. Uh, if you have max level runs, uh, you can have 40 slots of animals inside there. And you will see if you press on the recipes, it requires slots 3, how many hours uh, for them to grow and start collecting rewards. And uh, how much raw meat you can get from butchering. 
Uh, this is something new we didn't have it so far, but now with uh, the update of uh, cooking, we can see everything. Uh, now from my tests, I saw that uh, if you notice that uh, ships, they grow, they grow the duration 72 hours and the collect will down 20 hours. Instead of Guanaco, that the collect will down 11 hours and they bring more milk. So to having ships uh, in your hands is very bad. Better bring Guanaco for milk and some chickens for, of course, the egg. Why you need both? Because if you are pushing yellow recipes, Yellow recipes require also uh, the whip, the whip cream that requires milk and eggs. I know it's, that is basically why. Now the, the other golden recipe requires raw meat, but if you are off cooldown or you have collected so many materials, uh, that's why we also set it basically those materials to push up yellow recipes. Maybe you are out of bacons, so instead you can craft uh, spices pastas. So basically, this is uh, why you should bring both uh, chickens and uh, guanacos. Now, the correct analogy from what I checked so far is to have uh, seven chickens. Uh, as you see, I have four, but I noticed today that I need more. So I'm going to butcher this guanaco. I'm sorry, vegetarians, but this guanaco is going down <laughs> to bring mo three more chickens. So I have a better, let's say, analogy of eggs and milk. And this is pretty much it. Some things uh, also what I want to mention for people that are planning to push also uh, blue recipes, blue dishes, which is something I don't feel like it's necessary to do it. Uh, now, maybe if you get uh, top rankings, because a final recipe the red one uh, that you can only get it from delivering and ranking from 1 to 15 at the end of the week requires every blue recipe. So in case you are one of those uh, 15 people and you want to craft uh, braised fish, which requires uh, fish fillets, to get to make the fish fillets you require fishes and those fishes, this is what I wanted to say, all this came to this. Uh, all. Uh, those pieces you can use only from normal map. You can't use uh, from ocean. You can't use uh, from inside here. What I mean from inside here, there is also a system that uh, you can work gather pieces. Those pieces not work. Only normal fishing from normal maps. And something also uh, that I wanted to point is that. This section, the green one, that is basically if you see the pet icon and the horse icon. I don't know why the pet icon is here, maybe because they are planning to release more recipes in the future. As you will notice, ingredients like butter, for example, you can't use butter nowhere. So more recipes are coming for sure. But for now, everything right here cannot be delivered in the new, but the new, sorry, the new delivery system. You can't deliver them. So this is why. I put a no uh, <laughs> inside this section for now, because since you can't deliver to Patrizio, sorry, not to Patrizio, to a similar system like Patrizio, what's the point of crafting them? Well, you could say that uh, carrot confit might be something... <laughs> well, I, I was never a fan of taming horses, but if, for example, you want to push your dream horse and you basically farming uh, by taming, maybe this will help. But for now, uh, I'm not so sure if you if it's worth to spend your time inside here. Boys and girls, I think we covered everything regarding the new content. Not everything, but at least everything on a beginner's level. Things that uh, you should know, things that uh, will help you set uh, the beginning of uh, your farming empire, let's say. Uh, but anyway, uh, a more advanced video will come in the future where we're going to explore the delivery system even better, for what the recipe is to focus even better. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I <laughs> these numbers are not entirely correct, but uh, I'm pretty sure that those materials are the correct ones uh, to focus on the yellow recipes. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, see ya!